Right, welcome back everybody to Tom and Amy's Panel Mysteries. Tonight we are in a different location for this unboxing. So two reasons for this. On our shoes longs. Yeah, on our shoes longs. Two reasons for this. One, dishwasher's on downstairs, so all that's all you would hear on the camera. Um, two, this is where they're going to be staying for now. Um, they're not going in the other cabin. They're not moving from this room until we move to our new house because these two are very negative and we don't want them mixing with the other dolls that are the positive ones. Yeah. And so they're going to stay in here, they're going to be put inside a salt circle and the room will be cleansed to keep that energy in here. Um, so yeah, so there's... One. So this this doll, oh well, there's, there's, there's two boxes. You'll have to wait for the next video to see the next unboxing, but um, I'm not sure which one's which because they obviously are, they both arrive on the same day. Yeah. Um, so we'll about to find out. So would you like to open it or? Really wrapped it well. Yeah. So I can't read you any information yet because I don't know which one we're about to open. And guys, if you ever, if, ever, if you sense anything or you feel anything from watching us doing this, please let us know. I don't feel anything as of yet. It hasn't been in our house how long now? Yeah, as of yet. Um, it's only this afternoon. That's, that's one thing about buying these dolls. Make sure the postman doesn't leave it with your neighbour. Um, so, they, we didn't tell them what they had looked after for us for the whole day, but um, probably wise not to. <laughs> so, so probably want to keep a parcel for your everything. Yeah. Um, but yeah, let's hope that it hasn't got out of the box and stayed over there. Uh -huh. I think I know which one this is. So, shall I read you the information on this one? Oh, no, they're very, very, very similar. I mean, look at the face. Oh, it yes. Sounds like, um, smells like, um, what? sage. Like, um, Oh yes, it's like it's been she's sage. got sage on it. That's, almost, so, that's a good sign that like it's more yeah. genuine. Oh hang on, hang on, hang on. Let's come with the candle. Ah, yes, 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 yes. Yeah, so... Our supernatural sisters. This is to welcome the spirit. Yeah. So this doll um, oh, is name on. unknown. There you go, that's what I can smell. Uh, okay. Bob, Bobby has had this vessel for many years. He has worked with it as much as possible now and has decided to move it on. It was donated from the mother of the child. Mary gave birth to a little girl, Sarah, when she was 23. The father had left, but Mary did not care. She adored Sarah. They had a beautiful bond and she didn't care for anything else, just Sarah. When Sarah was four, she, she began sleeping a lot. She wouldn't eat and complained of a poorly head. She took her to A&E and that's where Sarah collapsed. She was rushed to ICU and it was there she was diagnosed with a very aggressive brain tumour. Mary prayed and prayed for a little girl to be okay, but sadly Sarah passed away a few weeks later. Mary was beside herself and she wanted her little girl back. So this is a true story. This isn't anything to do with the doll as of yet. This is not a made up story about a doll. Um, Mary, obviously, this little girl died, read online about summoning spirits and attaching them to empty vessels. She would do anything to feel her around again. She went out and picked the vessel that looked most like Sarah. She brought everything she needed to buy to perform this ritual. We don't know what the ritual was. Uh, <clears throat> All we know is that she did perform a ritual to try and get her daughter's spirit to attach to this doll. Mary began the ritual. She'd done everything exactly like online had told her to. She waited and waited, but nothing happened. She was in bits, begging for Sarah to communicate. It was then she heard Mummy. As the day went past, Mary noticed things weren't quite right. Horrid smells around the home, mirrors kept breaking, and she had marks on her body, and she felt con ed on edge constantly. She communicated with Sarah a lot, and she would feel scared about the things she was communicating. She began to realise that it was not Sarah she had summoned. She contacted Bobby before things got worse, hence Bobby was the guy who, who had the dollar. 
What is attached to this dog does the opposite to what Sarah would do. Instead of giving hugs, it pinches. Instead of kisses, it bites. It will tell you it hates you rather than love you. It is a negative spirit that was summoned by someone with no experience and is something we are seeing more and more regularly. Um, yeah. yeah, so that's it. Yeah. Um, so yeah, this is a classic case of people reading online, oh, I can do this to bring my loved ones back. You can't. You, you can if, you're, if, you, if you know what you're doing. However, it's not wise to even attempt it even if you know what you're doing, because you don't know what can so you're come the, through. The cancer research campaign on it. Yeah, so... Um, so yeah, we don't know what's attached to this. We're going to take every precaution, obviously, because we've still got to live here, the dogs are still got to live here, and this could be extremely negative, this dog. Um, so it sucks. I don't know if that's just because it's hot today that we're doing cracks already, but um, it's got a nice little wooden stand that comes with it anyway. Yeah. I'm not feeling anything negative off of her. No. Um, yeah, we'll see what, what what we get from her. So what this is called unknown. Unknown. For now. We'll see if we can get a name. We will see. Hmm. So yeah, let us know what you think about this doll, um, about the story. And um, yeah, wait to find out what happens with this one. I'm on a pillow. Stay spooky. <laughs> <laughs>